How's it going, guys? It's Rad C at the NXT TakeOver Phoenix Match Card and Predictions video. Yes, it is our first NXT TakeOver of 2019. And the first TakeOver NXT's had since November. So yeah, it's been a while since we've had one of these. But yeah. But yeah, enough talk. Let's just go ahead and let's we'll jump right into it. So of course, in the NXT pre-show, we're going to reveal the NXT year-end awards and find out who the real winners are. You know, I went through all the awards in my NXT TakeOver review a couple weeks ago. It's the one titled, Rest in Peace, Gene Okerlund, because that was also on the day Gene Okerlund passed away. I also did tribute to him in that video, too. You know, went in detail about it. You know, I also went through all the awards. It was like half the video. But yeah, but yeah, if you want to all the categories and all the nominees for the awards, just go over to that video. But yeah, let's just jump ahead right into the main card and get right to it. So the first matchup we have is a one-on-one -on -one match. We have... Matt Riddle versus Cassius Ono. A rematch from NXT TakeOver War Games 2 back in November. Now the million dollar question is, can Cassius last more than six seconds with Matt Riddle on a TakeOver event? This is also the third match between the two because Matt, there was a second match in that same year and award video that I just previously mentioned where those two battled for only six minutes. Yeah, I think this one's pretty obvious. I'm going to take Matt Riddle to win. I think Cash is no now. He's just going to be here to put the younger talent over, over. So give me Matt Riddle to win that match. Next matchup we have. We get into some tough matchups here. Next one we have is for the NXT North American Championship. We have Ricochet defending against Johnny Gargano. This is going to be a good match, but overall for a winner... I think this is going to be a tough one. You know, usually on NXT, the titles normally don't change hands. Because I believe the rumor is right now that the titles are not supposed to be, none of the titles are supposed to be changing hands. But we've seen time and time again, especially on the main roster, at least there's one title change. And I think this is going to be the one title change. I'm going to say, I'm going to go Johnny Gargano to win and become the NXT North American title. I mean, they're really, really teasing Gargano and out Tommaso Ciampa both becoming champions and bringing back DIY. They are really teasing the living shit out of it. I'll take Gonic Gargano to get back, and does this mean we will have a DIY reunion? We'll have to wait and see. Next up, our next match is for the NXT Tag Team Titles. We have the Undisputed Era, Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly defending against the War Raiders. You know, I believe War Raiders are supposed to be getting a push soon on NXT. Or they're just supposed to be called up soon. One of these two teams are going to be called up soon. Uh, I'm going to say Undisputed Era will retain. Give me the Era to retain because I also made a prediction at the start of the year that all four members of the Era will hold a title of all, all the titles. At some point in 2019. So give me the air on to retain. Next matchup we have for the NXT Women's Championship. We have Shayna Baszler defending against Bianc the undefeated Bianca Belair. You know, this is a tough match to call too. Are they going to keep Belair's streak alive? Or is Shayna going to be the one to give Bianca her first L? I'm going to say Shayna's going to give Bianca her first loss. Give me Shayna Baszler to retain. I don't think it's time for Shayna to drop the belt yet. Give me Shayna on this one. Final matchup we have is for the NXT Championship. Tommaso Ciampa defends against Aleister Black. I think this one is pretty obvious who's going to retain. I'm going to say Al Tommaso Ciampa is going to retain, but it's going to be off controversy. I'm going to say Johnny Gargano is going to come in and get involved and help Ciampa win the match. Plus, another reason why I have Ciampa winning is because Alistair's supposed to be getting called up to the main roster very soon. And from what I'm hearing, after WrestleMania. So, I'm going to say Alistair Black will not win. So, give me Ciampa to retain. But yeah, those are all my NXT TakeOver Phoenix predictions. Let me know what your predictions are down. And yeah, the take -o and the Takeover Phoenix review will also go through the awards and see who the winners are. 
But yeah, that's all I gotta say. Hope everyone has a great day, and yeah, peace out.